10 after 7, Tuesday, 27th in Paris. I can't sit in this room anymore. I hate this thing. Look how little this room is. This is it. It's like a box and it's all white. Um, I've been up since about 4. Mike has been sleeping since like 6 o'clock last night, I think. He must have slept 12 hours. So I'm just going to leave him be and I'm going to go venture out into the world of Paris. And these YouTube videos have been coming slow because there's a weird thing with the upload here. The network out here is called Orange. <laughs> it's Orange F for like Orange France. I don't know what that's all about. Anyway, out of here. So, the move is literally a block from the hotel. It takes about a minute to walk. And I, there's this thing, it's, it's like this entranceway. I don't know. I'm going to walk it and see what happens. I've been seeing this. But I haven't gone here yet. I mean, you guys can't believe this place. Just look at this. Unreal. Whoa. So this is like, I think, this is the Louvre. This whole thing is different wings of it. I don't know if I'm going to get in there. Not really much for museums, but look at this. It's like a running track in LA, except it's got like Greek gods everywhere. Oh. It's hard to explain. It's so massive. Everything is so absolutely massive. Not just like tall. Like it's, it's not just about being tall. It's like, you know, in America we got tall stuff. But this is like different. It's like it's it's humongous. It's like chunky and it's and it must be because like I rented to watch this movie about the Roman engineering and they talked about how Rome had actually uh, you know did a lot of the, the architecture here when back in the day when they conquered conquered this region and, and it was Rome and you know obviously no city blocks no streets like with cars every block so the buildings are not blocked off like normal like a normal city block the buildings are the width of like four city blocks because it's not gridded like it is in a, in a modern society and it is just unbelievable. Just incredible. Man. Yeah, see, this is very, very Roman. It's funny that all the faces <clears throat> look the same. They all look like the face on the Statue of Liberty. They all have the same bone structure, the same look, expression on the face. There's statues everywhere. Look at this. This is like incredible. Look at this weird glass pyramid right in the middle of all of this ancientness. Weird. This is truly amazing. I 
I know I keep saying, I, I, sh I edited the videos last night and I kept saying the same thing over and over again because I don't know what else to say. You have to come here. It's absolutely impossible to comprehend what this is like unless you're here. I keep thinking of the scene in Goodwill Hunting where the kids like to know it all. And the guy's like, oh, I bet you could tell me everything about the Sistine Chapel, how it, you know, was built and what war it was involved in and who painted it and what year and his wife's name and blah, 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 blah. But I bet you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. And that's exactly what this is. Stone. I don't know how old these roads are. I don't know if they're hundreds of years old. I know that there's a blend of architecture here. I know that there's stuff that's from like the 1600s and the 1500s, and then there's stuff that's from like like 60 AD to about 150 BC, which was like, I think the heyday when Rome ruled Paris in this area, and they built like crazy here. So you've got like, oh my God, just, you've got endless stuff to look at. It's weird, all with that Statue of Liberty face. We got modern cars. Do you see how the big gaps between the between the streets and and a lot of streets are all one way Look at those. those cars are everywhere and they park up on the street like long ways face it's at the heart they park up on the sidewalk like almost like you'll see a row of bicycles and then you'll see one of those cars that's how small they are what's this oh man water unbelievable oh there's the top of the uh, Eiffel Tower I didn't get any night stuff me and Mike were pretty pretty haggard when we got back yesterday from walking and just overwhelmed with all this and just went to sleep. I didn't, he did. I kind of geeked on the internet and went out last night.